Hi, Gemini. It's Tuesday. We're going to do your love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, as you know. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. The roles can be reversed, intermingled, flip around, and it's not gender specific. So if I say he, she, ignore me. All my readings are timeless. Feel free to look through the other readings as, long, as well as the extended. So if there is an extended to this video, I will say that at the end. Um, and all the extendeds are really, really good. So I might link the whatever the last one was down below. So you can check it out if you want. And let's get started. I've already pulled um, these two love messages or um, spirit messages. So if you have a question, the answer is yes. If you stop trying so hard and trust the process. And then at the very end, we will ask a yes, no question with the pendulum. So stick around if you're interested in that. Let's get started. We also have forgiving and learning and releasing the past and retreat. So I think you're going to get strong reading. Overall energy. Wow. A lot of love here. Union, happiness, kids, family. Beautiful. Queen of Cups. A lot of love here. A lot of love. Page of Wands. Communication. That's your energy, maybe by text. <clears throat> Temperance, you're holding back. Being patient, holding back, trying to stay grounded, even though there's a lot of emotion. There's a balance, or you're trying to balance, or you're communicating that. The sun. Beautiful. Again, I'm feeling or seeing children. Not sure. Am I feeling it? No, I see it. The sun is happiness. Strong, beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, so far. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Is this for real? <laughs> the lovers. Gemini energy. Could be making a decision, but the lovers, I mean, is always a really strong card in my book and always a positive. In, in tarot, it does have an element of making a decision um, between two lovers, so that could be it. And there, there's the King of Swords cutting someone out. Speaking truth. A lot of uh, mental energy. Painful endings. Uh, so what happened, it's happening here, Gemini, is your person is, looks like they've made a decision to cut someone out and it's caused a painful ending. I don't think that's you because of the rest of the spread. Because we have Ten of Cups, Union, lots of love. And bottom of the deck, Obsession, um, the Devil card. Scorpionic energy, obsession, feeling tied to something, can't let go, toxic energy, um, and don't say this word often, but I'm feeling a little bit of narcissism. Oh, oh, definitely I'm feeling narcissism. This is my self-love card. Self-love is good until, unless it gets to a certain point, right? So, um, that's the overall dynamic of what's going on here. <laughs> And somebody's leaving that behind, possibly with a with a, a strong. I think your person's getting out of something, a big, heavy relationship, and um, leaving something that needs needs to be left in the past. Okay, let's go here. In the recent past, making a decision, moving, choosing one thing over the other, making a life altering decision, heavily burdened. This is, you know, I feel weighed down. I feel heavily burdened. Carrying a lot of responsibility. Not giving up, you know, carrying a lot of responsibility. Oh my gosh, coming towards you. In the future, we have a reunion. Sweet, this is my favorite card in tarot. This is sweet, sweet message. I mean, memories, thinking, somebody from the past. Again, I'm feeling children. Children is probably children are probably affecting this relationship somehow. I mean, I've got it three times now. So st stop trying so hard. Trust the process. We need to look at that for the overall um, forgiving and learning and retreat. This strong energy that you need to pull back and trust the process because this person is coming back. But you need to let go of the outcome and stop controlling it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Victory! Being recognized. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. High Priestess. Inner knowing. So the High Priestess, again, this message is so strong, you guys. 
The high priestess is someone that sits back and she observes. She doesn't try to control everything. She just, she's, she's all knowing so strong, you know, Pisces energy, but she sits back and just watches and is like, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. That's what I think Tarot is telling you to do. Stop trying to prove your point. Stop trying to make yourself seen. Um, looks like there's some narcissistic energy here that could be somebody that your person or somebody is letting go of a narcissistic energy and, and going to be happy with somebody else. And it's kind of like you've got maybe that inner struggle because you know that's going to happen, but you are impatient and want to push things ahead is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let it come in slowly. This success that's coming towards you it's strong, but it's coming slow and stable, and I think you need to not rush it. Crazy. Anything else? Strong message. It's strong, amazing message. It's like, is this even real? This is like um, somebody figuring out your value, and, and, and this message is telling you you don't have to push it. You don't have to force it. It's just happening, or it will happen. Knight of Wands, passion, independence, success. So that's what's coming towards you. This is waiting. Why do we have this? Seven. You've put in a lot of hard work. Maybe this is telling you. Well, see, these are conflicting. So I think it's telling you to know your value. Um, <clears throat> and pushing things forward is kind of something we do when we're insecure, you know. Trying to be heard too hard or... Somebody is in the recent past or what's about to happen is somebody's moving away from something that's been very heavily burdened to close in, a close in a cycling out. A cycle is closing out. This is future. This is um, an ending, a, a, a completion, something that's been very long and drawn out and painful. This is amazing, really. I think we're done. We're going to do a yes-no with the pendulum so you guys can ask a yes-no. Yeah, some things. This is a gift from the universe. Something's coming in slow and stable. And look at this. The, the conflict is coming to an end. This is amazing. So we have Leo, Sag, Gemini. Um, we have everything. I'm just giving you this, the major arcana. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With the swords, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have Strong Pisces, Strong Sag. Aries, Leo. Doesn't have to be, but those are, those are pretty strong. We do have all the elements, I think, yeah. So the, the conflict is coming to an end. And it, what's coming in is some, it's rebuilding stable. This is beautiful, a stable new beginning, something that is strong and can grow. Okay. All right. You guys take a deep breath and we'll do a yes, no question. And I'll pull a, I'll pull one of these while we're waiting. So take a deep breath. Once I let go, you gotta, you can't change your question. Pause if you need to. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. You guys check out my community tab because I have just come across some amazing positive um, messages that I've been posting on there. And I always respond. I always read every comment on there and, and just immediately send you guys, try to send you guys positive energy when I read those. I'm very connected to the community tab and to the subscribers that comment on it. Um, I love comments on everything. I love even just to hear where you're watching from. But I love your stories, so com I love all the comments. But the community tab, I, I always see every comment. Um, so definitely is your answer to whatever you asked. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities 
for your life. So maybe this was the definitely, I don't know what you asked, but remember we have yes if you stop trying so hard and trust the process. I'm going to get one more. Oh, oh, fell on the floor. Let me grab it. Well, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to, again, this is about letting go of trying to make things happen. Have fun, live in the moment. Maybe you need to stop and smell the roses, but these are strong messages here. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Stop, It'll, the answer is yes, if you stop trying so hard <clears throat> and trust the process. Oh, wow, beautiful reading. So, that's gorgeous. All right, Gemini, I love you guys. Let me know in the comments, the free readings and gift cards are given away through the comments to subscribers. So leave comments and I will see you soon. Bye, Gemini.